stuff like this. You're tuned in to Don't Plan It Live Behind The Scenes. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to be a part of the team, yeah? If you win a 7-1, boy, make that bitch run. If you win a 7-2, make it do what it do. If you win a 7-3, see it slide like a G. If you win a 7-4, boy. What's good, what's good, what's good, fam? What's going on? Y'all already know we headed down south. Home base, as we call it. We headed to Sooty. You hear me? And we got that behind the scenes footage rolling because them boys is down south putting in that work, you hear me? What's going on, folks? Hope everybody out there staying safe due to the pandemic, practicing them necessary safety precaution skills, wearing your mask, social distancing, washing your hands, carry you some sanitizer, all that to make sure you keep you and your family safe, you hear me? What's good, though, folks? What's good, though? It's a beautiful day to get out and chase your dreams, you hear me? I hope you chase yours, because I'm going to definitely chase mine, you hear me? But yeah, folks, it's a beautiful day outside. It's kind of wet, though. I ain't going to lie to you, but it's still a beautiful day. You know what I'm saying? Every day is a be beautiful day, you hear me? But yeah, folks, we on our way to uh, to the shop. We sliding down, so on our way to the shop, and we about to see what kind of work being put in today, you hear me? What kind of work being put in into these cars to help these cars get put in the game, you hear me? Yeah, folks, um, as far as the diet, the diet is going great, folks. The diet is going great. Coming up on uh, coming up on about a month since I've been started this diet. Um, coming up on a month. I believe I started July 27th, you hear me? Today is August 24th. You know, a couple days shy of a month. But yeah, today is Monday, so it's weigh-in day, you hear me? It's weigh-in day. Yeah, man, I got on the scale today. I weighed myself, and uh, you know, I'm happy about the results, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, with this diet journey, I would never be disappointed in myself. You know, whether I lose a pound, whether I didn't lose a pound, you know what I'm saying? What, you know what I mean? I told myself I wouldn't be disappointed in myself because, you know, disappointment might, being disappointed in yourself might make you want to quit, you understand what I'm saying? So I told myself, you know what, I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna be disappointed in myself. I'm gonna just, you know, work harder. Um, but yeah, so uh, last Monday, I only had lost a pound. But this, uh, today I weighed in and I lost three pounds um, this week. So I'm happy about that. I'm very grateful, I'm very happy. And like I said, uh, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate the, um, the motivating words, the suggestions, the encouraging words, all that that you guys comment in, on the videos, you understand what I'm saying? So I appreciate you guys. Thank you for sticking by me. And we are, what, like I said, three days shy of a month. And so I'm basically saying a month. And in that month, we have lost the grand total of 16 pounds, you hear me? 16 pounds. That's not bad, you hear me? That's not bad. 16 pounds a month, I could do that, you hear me? I could do that. Now imagine, you know, 16 pounds times four months, you know what I mean? Times five months, you know what I mean? So 16 pounds, not bad, not bad, not bad at all. So after a month down 16 pounds, folks. So like I said, I thought this was gonna be hard. I'm not saying that it's easy, but it's definitely doable, you hear me? So if anybody out there, you know what I'm saying, trying to drop, shed some weight, you know, drop some weight, it's definitely doable. It's not easy, but it's definitely doable. I totally changed my, um, you know, I'm on a low carb diet and uh, what intermittent doing intermittent fasting. Speaking of intermittent fasting, today, I, yesterday I started fasting earlier, so today I'm coming up on an 18 hour fast today. So you know, it's about that time to get something to eat. You know, 11 a.m. almost 11 a.m. About that time to get something to eat. But yeah, that's what I've been doing: low carb diet, intermittent fasting. You know, my back is kind of, my back is messed up. I, I got back pain, so it's not like I'm not able to work out. But, you know, I walk here and there. Even walking um, affects my back, you know, walking, you know what I'm saying? I can't walk for long periods of time because of the, the, the back pain. So I try to fit walking in while I can. But overall, this is, this 
dieters journey is going to be more of a watching what I eat thing. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, so far so good. I ain't had soda basically in over a month, man. You know, I love soda. I love soda. I ain't had soda in over a month. I ain't had french fries over a month. I ain't had bread in over a month. Yeah, so definitely changed, man. Definitely changed. And as the time progresses, it kind of gets easier. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like now it's like, okay, for example, if I go somewhere and somebody offer me a soda, I can turn it down. You know what I'm saying? So definitely good, definitely good. But like I say, man, this week lost three pounds. So it's been a month. Grand total, 16 pounds down, folks, 16 pounds. I appreciate you guys. I definitely appreciate the support that you guys give me. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Thank you. Um, other than that, folks, uh, make sure, y'all already know, make sure you subscribe to Don't Plan It on YouTube for your chances to win a don't because we are giving a don't away once we hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. But it's up to you guys to spread the word and tell everybody you know that like donks about the Don't Plan It Don't Giveaway, you hear me? Let them know that we're giving a donk away once we hit 100,000 subscribers. Tell them to subscribe for their chances to win, you hear me? Um, folks, if you look in the stream, the intro song is titled All Them Donks Fue. And uh, there's a link in the description of this video that'll take you to Spotify where you can stream the song. Also, the song is available on Tidal, YouTube Music, Apple Music, and Google Play, you hear me? Um, what else? If you're looking to purchase that merch, such as this beanie that I got on my head, there's a link in the description of this video that'll take you to don'tplanet.com where you'll be able to check out the merch that we have available. We have beanies, hats, shirts, and um, hoodies, or what have you. So check that out. You might find something you like, you hear me? But yeah, man, we on our way to the shop, but first we we're gonna pit stop, get a bite to eat, and then we'll see you guys at the shop, you hear me? What's good, fam? I just got to the shop. I don't wait, ate my grub, now I'm feeling good. I'm feeling re-energized. I'm feeling like getting us this footage, right? So today I wanted to show y'all something that can make the dunk game stressful. Cause often y'all hear the dunk game stressful. So one of the things that make the dunk game stressful I wanted to show y'all today. So let's get into it. See right here, you got this 71 hard top, right? This hard top came in not too long ago. Now when it came off the tow truck, it looked like it was a solid part, right? I'm gonna show y'all something. Everyone really hard top. Solid car pretty much. As you can see. As you can see now, they're taking it down to the middle. They're taking it down to the middle, as you can see. The boys going in, like I say, down south, soon. The boys put in that work. Now, here's the thing that can make it trusted. Watch. Like, you go buy a car, right? And you think you done bought you a solid car. And when you start taking it down to the middle, you start seeing stuff like this. Stuff like this make it press. Look at that. See how that rusty is through there? And look how much bondo was on this car before. Just see how they had to cut off the bottom piece. Stuff like this make it special. Make it special. Look at this bottom piece. Look at that. Ooh, this thing heavy. With bondo. This thing heavy. This that bottom piece used to be right here. Stuff like this make that stressful. See, that's just in one part of the car. They ain't check the other side yet. But I'm trying to pull it out. Hold on. I'm trying not to get cut at the same time while touching this. Look at this. Look at this. Woo! I don't want to get cut, y'all. Don't try this at home. Look at this, folks. Look at this. This came from a, on that little bottom piece right here. 
whoever tried to work on this car previously or whoever. And it's heavy too with Bondo. Metal and Bondo. Y'all see that? You hear how that sound when I dropped it? You hear that? Metal don't sound like that. Look at this. Do it one more time for y'all. Look, listen to how it sound when I drop it. Metal don't sound like that. That's all Bondo. Sweet. What's up, man? What you got going on over here? Oh, uh, you getting, uh, running a job and put the pick of the head, so you stand down. Uh, the, the uh -huh. get a few deaths on that too. Sweet, can you give us some insight? I want to give the people some insight on on the quarter panel? On the amount of bondo that we see right here. Oh no, it's got too much bondo. I don't know if it's squad they're gonna change the quarters or they're gonna fix them. Uh-huh. I can't really tell you what they're gonna do with it, but um But it's too much bondo, right? Yeah, I think they should uh yeah, I think they gotta change the quarters on this. Yeah, because that is really bad. It's really bad, right? Yeah, it's terrible. What would make somebody put all that bondo on there? Man, it was all the years, you know? Yeah. And they probably didn't even know they sell quarter for each card. Yeah. So that's probably the reason why they put the bundle on. Knock on it one more time. Oh, it's, oh, it's bundle. That's bundle right there? Yeah, yeah. That's why it sounds like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Metal sounds like this. You see? Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. And the rust is bad, too. Oh, it's terrible. It's really bad. Yeah, this car really needs a quarter gun. You hear that from Tweet. Experienced body man, you heard what he said. Yeah, folks, this is what can make the don't game stressful, yeah? Got Tweet putting in that work over here, man. There you have it, folks. There you have it, you hear me? Basically, that's one of the factors that can make the don't game stressful. You hear me? You go buy a car, you think it's solid, and then come to find out it has a lot of rust, quarter panels need to be replaced, has a lot of bondo. All this stuff adds up, you know what I'm saying? So that can make the don't game stressful because you go buy a car, you think it's solid, so now you think, okay, it ain't gonna cost me that much to paint this car, to get this car painted. And then, you know, you take it to the paint shop and you start discovering all these issues with rust and bondo and quarter panels need needing to be replaced, all that adds up. So basically that's one of the factors that can make the don't game stressful. But y'all already know we down south with it, we at Sooty, so they gonna get it right, you hear me? Until next time, folks, keep it locked right here. Don't plan to lie behind the scenes, you hear me?